Hey guys, so I told you that I would be back to make a video about capsule wardrobes and what they are and how you can start implementing some of the process of capsulizing into your own wardrobe. So I want to begin with telling you what is a capsule wardrobe. A capsule wardrobe in general terms means that you have a condensed version of your regular wardrobe and most of the time a regular wardrobe consists of a whole entire closet stacked full of things and drawers just shoved full of items. Um, you're going to condense that down and sometimes there are Project 333 and other uh, variations on a capsule wardrobe that are very specific as a number. Um, capsule 333 project is where you keep 33 items including purses, bags and clothes and shoes and you wear those 33 things for a season and then come the next season you only have 33 for that season. So for spring you would have a capsule, you would have a capsule for summer, fall and winter. Some of the items in your summer capsule may fall over to your fall capsule, some t-shirts or whatnot, jeans maybe, but basically you you only can keep 33 pieces. Now you're not going to go to fashion prison if you don't, but that's the idea behind it. Um, there are other ones that say 50 or under pieces, um, or 50 pieces or under I should say, but honestly a capsule wardrobe is just to make your life simpler, it's to cut down on consumerism, and it is to make your wardrobe versatile, easy to deal with, and make your getting ready time cut in half from what it used to be. Uh, my capsule wardrobe grew a little bit because I invested in a couple of things for summer, but I will probably end up out in some of those things when fall comes, or maybe even before. But the whole entire point is to make sure that each piece that you have is something that you do enjoy wearing, something that does fit well, because that's one of the problems I think we run into is we will buy things that are on sale, sometimes not necessarily by the right size, just because we like the print or something along that line. And what happens is we end up with a massive, massive inventory of clothes that either do not fit or we just bought on impulse and didn't think it through. So, the first step, I think, honestly, a lot of people will say is to find your style and define your style. For me, my style is all over the map, so that would be kind of hard for me to do. So, I just kind of take the route of finding pieces that will work with other pieces, and that's also a big part of a capsule, is all your clothes have to work together. So you will have your staple pieces, like for instance, this jean jacket is a total staple piece. I wear it in the summer, I wear it in the winter, I wear it in the fall, I wear it in the spring. But, it will go with basically every shirt that I own, most of the bottoms I own, whether it be shorts or a skirt or whatever. So you want to have those staple pieces and also you want to make sure that your, <coughs> got choked there for a second. You want to make sure that your color palette uh, within reason matches each other. And that's why you'll see a lot of capsule wardrobes that contain a lot of black, white, uh, gray, browns, neutral colors, khakis and things like that. Um, I have kind of leaned towards that with a couple of colorful pieces, but that isn't a total rule that you have to stick by. If you like prints and a lot of colorful things, then you do you. This is all about making it your own thing. I think really the most important part is just getting down to where you're not overspending and just buy, buy, buy all the time and you end up not even wearing things and then you go to your closet and you cannot find anything to wear even though you have a multitude of items to choose from. They end up on the floor, you end up aggravated, you've wasted half an hour's worth of time and you still claim you have nothing to wear. The capsule wardrobe, you will always have something to wear and you will always have options because everything that you own will match with everything that you pump. Do you understand what I'm saying? So your jacket's going to go with almost all of your bottoms. All your shirts will match all of your bottoms, so on and so forth. And you know, of course, there's people that say, hey, I love to wear dresses, so I like to have 10 dresses in my capsule wardrobe. Well, that's fine, then have 10 dresses. You really just make it your own. But it's getting your clothes down to a minimum amount of things that A, you can take care of well, and it will keep you from buying like really cheaper priced items that will tear up easier or shrink. It will save you money so you're able to invest in more quality items. And it's not about the name brand, it's about quality because a lot of times you can get buy with cheap things, but they will tear and rip and fade and you know, you end up just getting rid of them and it's a waste of money either way you look at it. I have anything from more expensive stuff I've invested in all the way to things I've got at thrift stores for a dollar. So the range is unlimited. There is no technical, technical, okay, I said the word technical, technical, what is wrong with me? Anyway, there is no technical way to do it properly. 
as far as brands and quality and all of that but it is just a better idea to get pieces if you're gonna have less clothes get pieces that are gonna last so that you don't end up with a million things that are just crap <laughs> do you know what I'm saying okay. so basically if you do go to the store and you know you're not supposed to necessarily shop a lot when you're doing a capsule but if there is a piece that you really feel like is a key piece that you're missing and you feel like I really need this piece you will shop with purpose instead of just going in and just seeing what's on sale and hitting the clearance and going crazy like I do if you're like me or like I used to be um, instead you will go in and you will look for that particular item and you will kind of have tunnel vision and you will get that item and you may pay more for the item because it is a better quality item you will be able to buy less items but you will get better quality items do you understand what I'm saying that will last a lot longer and that you'll get a lot of wares out of it and a lot of people don't like the idea of wearing a lot of the same things a lot because they think somebody's gonna think ew she's wore that same jacket three four times this week but you know what honestly just consider it your life uniform and it doesn't matter what people think you hear that all the time well who cares what people think well honestly I don't care what people think as far as what I wear uh, my hair etc so on it's not a big deal <coughs> to me as long as you're modest and you know covered and that's all that really matters so just find yourself some a key pieces that you just absolutely feel like are your must-haves it may be a black dress it may be a maxi dress it may be a pencil skirt it may be a jean jacket it may be a leather jacket and shoes that are a must-have for you it may be athletic shoes or boots or a great pair of sandals but either way you look at any of the subcategories of clothing which is shoes bags scarves any of that just make sure that you keep it to the minimum amount minimum amount that you can live with and make sure that you love those pieces because I promise once you dive in and do this don't be scared just do your declutter pull out all your clothes scarves shoes everything do the KonMari method if you haven't read the book or listened to the audio book you can listen to it free on YouTube it's the life-changing magic of tidying up by Marie Kondo it's four hours 50 something minutes long but it is free to listen to on YouTube if you like to do that and she has a great decluttering style and um, I already went through that process and it's been amazing uh, but when you're decluttering your clothes which is something you'll have to do uh, don't focus on what you're getting rid of because then you might start to panic if you see the stack getting bigger and bigger and what you're keeping being less and less focus on what you're keeping like the things that you're like yes I know when I see that shirt I love that shirt I want to wear that shirt a lot I want to get a lot of use out of that and focus on the stuff that you love and you'll be able to take care of those things and and really knowing what you have in your closet makes getting ready I can't even snap makes getting ready a snap and uh, I promise it will make life a lot easier again it doesn't have to be a numbers thing if you want to do the project 333 you can look that up on here and you can get the details on that otherwise just do it your way what works for you and I think you'll really enjoy it if you do and you know you can donate the things that you get rid of or you can sell them but either way you know you're doing yourself a favor because the truth is even if you spent a lot of money for an item and it's not something you wear that item is not going to give your money back and recoup what you've lost that you wasted buying it by sitting in your closet with the tags on it it's just not you're never going to get that money back unless you have the receipt you can take it back if you've had it you know a long time you lost the receipt and the tags just hanging on it and you can't take it back just chalk it up to a loss and consider it a lesson learned and let it go don't be a prison to close that's the whole point of this is making it real simple real quick to get ready in the morning without even having to think about it and always looking good looking snazzy all the time and yeah so I think that pretty much covers everything I'm sure it didn't cover all the questions but if you have any questions please let me know there's plenty of videos on YouTube that will explain it in more depth if I have not and yeah so that's it try your capsule wardrobe set yourself a goal to you know if you want to keep a shirt for every day excuse me of the week you could do seven t-shirts seven dress shirts seven pairs of pants seven pairs of shorts so that's simple and then have a jacket a hat a pair of gloves for winter I mean it's just really simple you can just kind of mix and match things however suits you so that's the amazing cool part of the whole situation so I'm gonna get off here and let you guys go that's just a you know scratching the surface I just wanted to kind of make this video so you all would know what it's all about at some point I would like to head to a minimalist wardrobe which is a little different from a capsule same thing but a little more extreme to where you only keep like I don't know some people only have like 10 pieces I mean that's crazy 
I don't know if I could ever get to that point. Maybe though, you never know. Point is to live with less and to focus on things that you love to do because all this money you're spending on clothes that you don't even wear, you don't even like, you could be putting towards doing cool fun things like outdoor things or vacations or something that you can make memories of. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to get off here before I get to rambling, but just try it out and see what you think, and uh, let me know if, if you have a capsule wardrobe. I know I subscribe to a lot of you that have had one for a long time or have just recently started, and I really love watching your videos, and it really excites me when I see an update. So I'm going to get off here and let you guys go. So if you are new, please subscribe, and if you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will get off here, and I will see you guys next video.